Okay, so the current plan for the room experts leave thing is going to take a crazy long time to actually happen, even with that huge 11 billion thing we're doing. Like, if everything goes perfectly, just getting to Proxima B might take 20 years. So, yeah, it'll be a while before we're really sure if there's life there. That deep space telescope has been super important in figuring out if we're alone in the universe. Keeps finding cool stuff. The James Webb Telescope spotted some weird, human-like things way out there, which gets us closer to an answer. Basically, we've always been trying to find life out there. It's a big deal in everything we do. We've come up with tons of theories and movies and stuff about it. We're obsessed with figuring out our place in the universe. It's just human nature to want a buddy out there. Even if they're a lot like us, we still want to know. But even if we find something, will it be what we expect? Or just a distraction? Come check out the slow progress we are making in studying faraway galaxies and planets as we try to find something we might not be ready for the distant lights of other worlds. Scientists might be on to something huge. So, back when they were designing the James Webb Space Telescope in 2021, someone wondered if we'd ever be able to see artificial lights on planets like Proxima b, which is the closest planet outside our solar system. Proxima b is about 4.25 light years away and might be tidally locked, meaning one side always faces its star, and the other is always dark, like our moon. Someone had this idea that maybe they could move power from the sunny side to the dark side with solar panels that use starlight. A study with scientist Manus Ving mentioned that we could hook up solar cells to future telescopes. It is very interesting now that the James Webb Space Telescope has been created and we can look for signs of lights on exoplanets like Proxima b. It's a big deal because in 2024, the James Webb Space Telescope did just that, using its suite resolution and tools. Maybe the telescope already found those lights. That could totally change things for science. Let's go even deeper into planets and galaxies to see how this cool thing actually happened. The James Webb Space Telescope's mission is all about our old question of, are we alone? Since forever, humans have asked who we are, where we came from, and where we're going. Now, with technology, are we any closer to knowing? A philosopher might say we're just starting to grasp things. But an astronomer? They'd be excited to tell you about the latest discoveries with new tech. People don't always pay attention to these tools, but they show how far we've come. The world is at our fingertips, and we should be confident and discover the universe. One way to do that is to support the astronomers and experts who've been creating new tech to see light on distant planets. The James Webb Space Telescope is a product of human creation. This telescope is trying to answer those old questions and go past what is possible in space. You may be asking, what exactly is Proxima b, also called Alpha Centauri? It is a planet bigger than but also smaller than ice giants like Neptune. There are different types of super-Earths, gas rock or both. Their sizes can be different, but they can be twice the size of Earth. Classification as an exoplanet orbits a star outside our solar system. The first sign of an exoplanet was in 1917, but not confirmed until 1992 and 2003 after being detected in 1988. As of now, there are 5,653 exoplanets in 4,161 planetary systems. Many orbit M-type stars. They are the smallest red stars. They aren't easy to spot. Proxima b has a mass of 1.07 x-Earth. It only takes 11 to 2 days to orbit the star compared to Earth's 365.25 days. You can guess the size of the star Proxima b orbits by considering the electromagnetic spectrum. The star is only 1.6% of the sun's brightness in the visible light spectrum for 5 to 6% of the sun's intensity. The infrared radiation is a range of 0.045 to 0.056 Australian dollars from its star. 2016 Proxima B's discovery announced why important? It is the closest exoplanet to our Sun. It is part of the Alpha Centauri star system. The possibility of habitability makes the system potential for life. James Webb Space Telescope comes into play. JWST goals. Look for the light from the first star and galaxies after the Big Bang. Study the evolution of our universe. Study the formation of stars and planets. Examine planetary systems and the origins of life. Searching for alien life is now a priority by people nature. 
the search for extraterrestrial life can be related to a game of hide and seek of cosmic levels with humanity seeking and the universe hiding. In the 1960s, Frank Drake found radio waves from stars, no extraterrestrial visitors yet. The search is very patient, especially when the James Webb Space Telescope gets data from exoplanets like Proxima b. One day we should know maybe getting ambiguous signals leaving us unsure. Finding lights or signals form Proxima b is giant step in human curiosity where pursuit of tech come together in a cosmic thing. We are hopeful we can find hard to prove evidence that we're not alone. The discovery of lights for exoplanets is a huge step to answering the human question if we're alone. The findings will start convos and research. These discoveries could go further alone. The proof of life would force us to think about our place could life change like us or be different. Even without life direct the lights and signals are big. It would mean that smart lives in the universe may adjust their areas. It's not rare but a part of specific cosmos conditions. Being careful. The confirmation makes questions about how. The reactions to the discovery. Respect or fear. New discoveries make reactions unpredictable. Go into space to have morals. If we find life, what would we be responsible for? These questions don't have answers, but we'll keep convos going. The search for life and the James Webb Space Telescope. This deep space telescope has been a game changer in figuring out if we're alone. Keeps giving us stuff to think about. And the James Webb Telescope? It spotted some weird, human-like stuff way out there, which gets us closer to an answer about if anyone else is out there. We're kind of obsessed with finding life outside Earth. It's all over our movies, books, everything. We're dying to know if we're special or just another face in the crowd. We just want a buddy, you know? But even if we find something, will it be what we expect or just another distraction? Come with us as we check out galaxies and planets. We might find something wild. In 2021, when they were building the James Webb Space Telescope, someone asked if we could use telescopes to see lights on other planets like Proxima b. It's our closest exoplanet, about 4.25 light years away. They thought it was tidally locked, meaning one side always faces its star, like our moon. Someone wondered if we could beam energy from the sunny side to the dark side with solar panels. A scientist, Manus Ving, and some others figured out that good solar cells on the sunny side could hook up with future telescopes. Now that we got the James Webb Space Telescope, we can hunt for lights on planets like Proxima b. Like, it could have already seen what it was looking for back in 2024 with its better gadgets. It might have found the lights we've been searching for. The James Webb Space Telescope's mission to look at Proxima b comes from our old question about the universe. Since forever, we've wondered about who we are, where we came from, and where we're going. We have better tech now, but are we any closer to knowing? Maybe not. But astronomers will tell you about all the cool stuff they found with these tools. People don't pay attention to them, but they show how far we've come. It's time to get out there and see what we can see now. Astronomers and space geeks are making that happen. So, Proxima b or Alpha Centauri is a super-Earth circling an M-type star. Basically, super-Earths are bigger than Earth but smaller than Neptune or Uranus. They can be gassy, rocky, or both. Some are twice the size of Earth, some are way bigger. Proxima b is one of those, and it's an exoplanet, meaning it's outside our solar system. People thought they saw an exoplanet way back in 1917, but no one cared. Then, in 1992, they confirmed the first one, and everyone freaked out. As of April 2024, we found 5,653 exoplanets in 4,161 systems. A lot of them circle M-type stars. Those are the smallest, most common stars in the Milky Way. They're not very bright, which sucks when you're trying to find planets. Proxima b is about 1.07 times the size of Earth. And get this, it orbits its star in just 11.2 days, not 365. The star is super dim, only about 1.6% as bright as our sun. Most of its energy is infrared. They figured out about Proxima b in 2016. So why do we care about this one out of all the stars and planets? Few reasons. It's our closest exoplanet. It's part of the Alpha Centauri system, and it's supposedly in the habitable zone where there could be water. That's why space nerds are all over it. 
That's where the James Webb Space Telescope comes in. It wants to find the first stars and galaxies, see how the universe changes, study how stars and planets form, and check out planetary systems and where life comes from. As it looks at planets like Proxima b, we get closer to figuring out how it all works. Looking for aliens is a big deal now, which makes sense since we're all curious. We're always wondering, poking, and checking things out. So, this mission makes sense. Think about how crazy this is. We're looking for signals from other civilizations in a huge universe. It's like a cosmic hide-and-seek. Some folks started this back in the 60s, like Frank Drake, who looked for radio waves from stars. Still no aliens, but we're still looking. Can take a while, maybe forever. But the James Webb Space Telescope is gathering data from planets like Proxima b, so who knows? Maybe we'll find aliens. Or maybe we'll just get some weird signals that confuse us even more. Either way, finding something on planets like Proxima b would be a huge step in finding out if we're alone. If we found those lights or signals, it would be awesome, and we'd all start talking, researching, and maybe even questioning what we thought we knew about life in the universe. It makes you think about where we fit in. Would life on other planets be like us, or totally different? If we don't find anyone, just finding those lights or signals would say that intelligent life exists out there. But hold on, we gotta be careful. If we find aliens, what do we do? How would people react? Would we be cool, curious, and scientific, or would we freak out and start fighting? History suggests crazy answers. We need to think about the ethics of all this before we go too far.